Hello everyone, thanks for watching my presentation. I'm Xian Yuchen. Our paper was co-authored by Jia Rui Jin, Xian Yuchen, Yuan Bo Chen, Hui Nan Zhan, Ren Ting Rui, Zai Feng Jiang, Zhe Wen Su, and Yong Yu. Our paper focuses on the problem of live broadcast recommendations, the display selection and expressiveness of interest can free users from the tedious search and compilation on cell phones. And live broadcast recommendation is based on the historical information of both users and interests. And we will automatically generate a list of suitable interests for users. It is the interaction between triple objects, it is user, enter, and item. Not then the binary interaction between user and item. The figure below is an example of a live recommendation about recommending an entry to a user. Of course, the recommendation is actually a list of entries. We can see that both the user and the entry have their own list of items. This live broadcast is a very new task. There is very little work directly related to this error. The methods certainly used in the industry typically extract features manually from the user and entry side and then fed them into a clip file which ranges from early metric composition to more recent deep learning. However, all these approaches rely heavily on complex future engineering. Influenced by the development of mobile internet and deep learning techniques, more and more recommendation researchers has turned to invent new recommendation tasks, which can be broadly classified into two categories. One class of approaches tries to bring more convenience to users by modifying recommendation tasks, such as session-based recommendation and intention-based recommendation. The other class of approaches investigates how to include side information related to users and items in recommendations to better capture user preference. For example, Studying structural information in user interactions, multimedia based recommendations. Our model is extended with SVD, which is the collaborative filtering method. Some of these classical methods are based on the inner product of future vectors, such as SVD, SVD, FM, etc. However, the natural linear nature makes it insufficient to discover complex correlation between users and items. So other methods based on deep learning to enhance interaction features have emerged, such as deep FM, PNN, graph hinge, etc. Our structure is also related to two-side sequential networks. Past approaches explore it con has information from both users and items, but they either consider to set information in an independent fashion or model the relationship between all high-order neighbor users and items, which is insufficient in filtering out noise and exploit long sequential data. After studying this reality works, we task to solve the live recommendation problem if this these challenges as follows. First, how to build the correlation between users and entries. We know that the relevance of users and entries is an inner property hidden in the complex static and dynamic attributes of users and entries. Among them, static attributes are usually found in the form of categorical attributes, for example, user gender, entry broadcast time, etc and dynamic attributes are usually found in the form of sequential data, for example, user browsing history, entry broadcast history, etc. And this historical data consists of reality items, which also have their own static attributes, for example, price and the brand of the item. Second, how to capture the signal of collaboration between users and entries whether the early adopted shallow model or the recently proposed deep model, the mainstream recommendation methods cannot capture the hidden collaboration information. 
Existing approaches usually compress or expansion to each site without considering the rich interaction patterns between users browsing and entrance history. For example, a user's motivation to enter a live broadcast room may come from the third entrance selling items she has seen before, which can be modeled by an add operation on the entrance live items and the user's browsing of the items. Third, how to distinguish key information and filter out the noise. Recent studies have shown that long-term correlations are observed in the history. However, the length of history sequences varies from user to user due to different activities or registration times, and some users have long historical sequences, making it in practical to maintain the entire behavior history of each user for real-time online influence. Based on these challenges, we offer our novel model to set interactive network twins. The basic idea of twins is to design a bidirectional architecture that captures the rich context hidden in the static and dynamic features of this user site and entry site. The following figure shows an overview of twins. First, we use PNN to model the correlation between the static attributes of each user, entry, and item, as shown in A to D. Second, we use RNN to capture the sequential dependencies hidden in the dynamic history of users and entries, as shown in B, C. Third, we design interaction networks to match the interaction patterns between users and entries in terms of items and entries, as shown in EF. Also, it's important to note that interaction operations, especially in terms of item interaction words, require high computational cores. We propose a core retriever mechanism to select relevant items from the entire user and entry history to save interaction computations, as shown in H. After that, we total list interaction results accompanied by the probability of static attributes of the user and entry to pre predict the room in which the user blows in an entry broadcast. As shown in I, we will describe these steps in detail in the following subsections. In the classical recommendation module, there are two main objects. It is users' items. While in the live recommendation scenario, there are three main objects. It is users, entries, and items. Each object has a rich set of highly relevant static attributes. This correlation is difficult to be modeled by general MLP, so we introduce PN to model the static attributes of each object into an embedding vector as follows. In addition to static attributes, there is a rich dynamic history of users and entries, such as users browsing items and entries, items of entries. Therefore, we can build sequence model for these dynamic histories, such as RNN modules. In the interactive network, we aim to consider the interaction patterns exploited by the end operation. Let's say a user enters a live room because the entry is selling an item she likes, and the entry is similar to entries she likes. The most straightforward idea is to follow the basic idea of SVD++ and calculate the similarity between user and entry, or entry and entry as follows. Notice that the original SVD++ used to measure the similarity between users and items. And since the users browsing the same items are very diverse, using this information would introduce a lot of noise. So it would assign a value of 0 to beta on the right side of the equation. But in our case, there is no such problem. We use the list of items from the entries live a broadcast which is clean and informative. However, the basic framework based on SVD++ has early summarization problems. The user reality and entry reality items are compressed into a single user or entry embedding before the final prediction. 
in this case, only two objects are active, while the other reality objects, for example, items, and their relevance are missed and relayed. Better capture this interaction pattern, we propose an enhanced by attention network based on SVD. This by attention mechanism is applied to calculate the similarity between users and anchors, and anchors and anchors. Both of which have a similar form of calculation as follows. However, notice that the time complexity of our interactive network is proportional to the square of the sequence length, which is unacceptable in industry production. And the basic idea of call retrieval is finding a subset of users and enters reality items to fit in the network instead of using the home data. For the specific implementations, we used a hard search based on the category of items, that is, filtering out items that only appear, appear in a list of categories. We have already obtained two similarities, the similarity based on the list of items and the similarity based on the list of entries. And here we then directly calculate the similarity between users and entries. Then we aggregate all these three similarities to get the final prediction probability. Then we using lot loss to optimize the parameters. Next is the experiment part. Since live recommendations are just emerging and there is a lack of public datasets in this area, we completed public experiments on three other datasets with similar tenory structure. Yep, trust and a minor. But we made up for this deficiency by doing online experiments in real life scenarios, Dian Tao app later. The models we use for comparing can be classified into two categories sequential models, such as LSTM, interaction models, such as FM, and each of the sequential models also includes variants that only use the entries that users have viewed. And our old model is the twins, and some variant, for example, the twins remove the item, the twins remove the entry, the twins which the call retriever. The following is a summary of the experiment results. First, it can be seen that our model twins outperforms all other compare model models which shows the superiority of developing the interaction networks based on a two-side architecture. Second, the results of observing these sequential models using only browsing entry sequences are in most cases lower than the original version. This validates the need of further incorporate user browsing items and entry browsing items as input. Third, observing the results of sequential models, for example, LSTM, compared with interaction models, for example, PNN, we can see that the former is significantly higher than the latter, which validates the necessity of mining the sequential patterns of users and entries. The impact of the interaction network is observedness. It can be seen that removing one set of the sequence from each of the twins results in a different degree of performance degradation. This is because our interaction network is able to provide interaction patterns, which cannot be modeled by using neural network alone. Look at the impact of the retriever mechanism. It can be seen that in most cases, twins which call can achieve a performance close to or even existing that of twins. This shows that category information plays an important role in the selection of relevant items. Meanwhile, observing the flowing time complexity analysis, the twins which call can significantly outperform twins in terms of time efficiency again, close to the general sequential model which makes it possible to handle long sequence data. Look at the impact of the two-set information. 
The following figure shows that results when the sequential module uses only one set of item sequence. It can be seen that the live sequence using the intro shows better results in most cases. This indicates that the intro's live sequence may hold more information. Next, we show a result from deploying twins, which actually use a version of Retriever on the Dianto app, which has over 10 million daily active users. You can see that our model achieves a significant improvement. Here, we show a case study on the app. This figure below shows the interaction pattern between each pair of items on the user side and intro side, with similar colors indicating high interaction ways. You can see that these interaction ways are a good reflection of the corresponding relevance. For example, clothes with the same color, this is yellow, and similar to cosmetics containing perfume and lipstick, it is red. Here is a conclusion. In this paper, we investigate a recently emerged live broadcast recommendation and propose a novel two-set framework named TWINS, where we design interactive networks from item and intro as best to capture the rich interactive patterns in user and intro size. In addition, we also develop a co-retrieval mechanism to reduce the high computation causes of the interactive network from the item expert. That's all. Thanks.